Hey everyone, uh, this is Kevin here at Movement Mortgage and I just wanted to put this presentation together for you. Um, so this is something that I'm pretty big on, always trying to think about how I say things, um, trying to boost my uh, confidence with sales, right? We all have to have listing appointments or uh, initial consultations or what have you. And if you're doing cold calling, if you're doing door knocking, what have you, all of these things can kick you in the pants and so what i wanted to do was show you how you can boost your confidence specifically your sales confidence right now so these are things that i do that uh, have helped and things that i think you can have a great deal of value from so some kind of takeaways uh, if you will so let's jump right into it first thing it seems really really cheesy but it does help especially if you're just really feeling down read your testimonials. So if you've had a past client experience that was fantastic and that client left you just a glowing review, um, definitely go read that before you make your calls. This will help you feel confident. This will make you feel like what you're doing is worth it. Um, and just in an example, I'll read you this testimonial from a past client of mine. Uh, when recommended by our realtor, Kevin was immediately helpful. This is our first home buying experience, and we didn't even know where to start. We didn't even know what type of loan to get. Kevin described in detail what the different loan types were and gave his best insight to help us make a decision. He walked us through the VA loan, which he knows so much about, and guided us down the right path from pre-approval to making an offer. I don't think we could have done this without all of his help. I would highly recommend his expertise and knowledge of the market and rates becoming um, and being a great mentor to folks who have never done this. Every question had an answer. So again, it's like, I didn't make this up. You can go on Google or Zillow and, and see for yourself. Um, but when I read these, it just, you can't help but feel like that warm and fuzzy feeling. It feels really, really good. So if I'm going through a tough transaction or if I'm about to make a couple sales calls and I'm not feeling great, maybe I'm feeling a little under the weather, uh, I'll read something like this and I'll feel like, you know what, like maybe I am good at what I do and maybe I do provide value to people and maybe there's someone out there that would really appreciate this phone call today. So tip number one, read your own testimonials. Tip number two, I would say don't fake it till you make it. I would say faith it until you make it. Have faith that what you're doing is worth it. Right? So think about your client experience. Think about why you're different than everybody else, why you're the best that this client should be talking to, like you're the best that they should be dealing with, working with. Right, You're giving this client the best in class service. And if you don't feel confident that you're doing that, then you're probably not. So think long and hard about who you are, what you do, and how much help you can really provide someone. And you know that will make you excited and feel good about what you're doing. And then another thing I always say is, you know, always tell the client, never sell the client. If you feel like you're talking too much, if you feel like you're selling them on why they should work with you, if you're describing all the fun features that um, you have that somebody else doesn't have, you, you're probably selling them. And what you really need to do is just tell them. Uh, let them know that most agents do this, I do this. Or most lenders will, you know, point you in this direction, I'm just going to help you in this way here. And not selling them is so important, especially for the younger generation, millennials and so on, because they can smell BS a mile away. So if you start to spin them, if you start to hide, uh, if you start to hide your answers, right? If you start to kind of muddy the waters a little bit, they immediately don't trust you. They can smell that you're a fake and a phony and they'll bounce. They'll use somebody else who's real and authentic. So don't fake it till you make it. I would say faith it until you make it. Have faith, you're the best, and that they should work with you. Next tip I would say is role play your tone. Understand tonalities and, and overcoming objections. So all of us have our scripts, all of us have our common objections, and um, what, what we use to more or less take away uh, those weapons from the client. But role play those tones uh, is, is so important. And in just in a simple example here, it's the same sentence but said four different ways, right? I didn't say you did that. 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 So as you can see, four different ways to say the exact same thing, but depending on where you put the emphasis, it sounds different, right? So understand tones um, and role play those. Kind of leads us into the next topic, which is record yourself. 
So when you're role playing with somebody in the office, or if you're just making cold calls by yourself, uh, throw your camera phone up there on record and listen and watch play back those calls. It's just like a professional sports team. They're going to go watch the footage of the enemy team. They're going to watch the footage of their own team, and they're going to analyze, analyze, analyze. It's basically a step in the decision-making process where you supervise and refine. And so recording yourself is definitely where you're going to hear a lot of ums, a lot of uhs, and you'll be able to hear the tones better. And for me, something simple like smiling on the phone, people can understand the difference between you feeling excited or you not feeling excited. So if you don't think uh, that that's true, I would say try it out. But if somebody smiles and says something to you on the phone, you you as a human being listening to many different people um, and talking to many different people, you'll be able to tell that that person on the other end of the phone is smiling. And so that's a super important one when you're talking to people um, smile, be happy, be cordial and watch those ums and uhs. Definitely record yourself because you probably have something that you say that can be removed from the sentence in order to make more concise sentences. And that could be ums, that could be uhs, that could be like, oh, I was just like calling you because I'm like a real estate agent. And I was thinking like, maybe we could like go look at like a property right? So again, record yourself, play it back, watch it, make corrections. And if you're feeling super confident, I would say show those videos to somebody else and ask them for feedback. That is pretty much all I have um, for how to boost your sales confidence. So just to recap really quick, read a testimonial, feel good about yourself, Don't fake it till you make it. Don't sell the clients. Just tell the clients what you offer and have faith and believe that you're good at what you do and that they should work with you. And then role play your tones. Um, Overcome those objections by, you know, going through your scripts, dialing that in. And how you do that is really by recording yourself. So once you have your scripts or whatever you want to say, practice them enough that it doesn't sound like a script and that it sounds like natural speech. And then record yourself and, and see if there's anything that you can alter or make better. That's all I got for this one. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, guys.